Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. I have some sad news for all you listeners out there. One of the teachers on the Teacher Says series, Bruno, will unfortunately be leaving his job as a Grapeseed teacher. But before he left, I wanted to have him on to share his thoughts and experiences one last time with all of us. So welcome to the show, Bruno. Yeah, Adam, always glad to be here. So how many years has it been since you started at that school and started teaching Grapeseed? Well, I've I've been at this school for when I'm done at the end of the month. It's currently March. Uh, I will have been here 14 and, a, 14 and a half years. Of those 14 and a half years, we've been teaching grape seed 12 to 13 years. Wow. Uh, yeah, one of the early that. one of the early schools, that's for sure. Yes, definitely, definitely. How are you feeling as we get close to the end of the month? I know it's the end of the school year, so there's kind of that that kind of deep breath that you're exhaling at the end of a school year, but then also you have your your leaving part here. So how 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 are you feeling? Uh, it's all right. I mean, it's busy as anything because we've got our uh, recital at the end of the month. We just did a bunch of parent observation classes. We were down a teacher for a week due to some covid related things so it i'm not gonna lie it's been quite busy and i will be sad to see the kids go that'll be quite sad because a lot of the kids i've taught for many many years i mean we have junior high school kids here who i taught when they were two years old so uh yeah it's been a while so that that'll be sad for sure i'm not gonna lie about that you know but it is time to move on for because I'm going to be doing some other things, non-teaching related. So I'm also looking forward to a new chapter uh, in my life. Yes. Okay, well, let's turn back a few pages to the beginning of this current chapter. All those years ago when you had your very first foundation training, I don't even remember what iteration that would have been. So how many days was it? What were your initial thoughts? How was it? How, how did it go? What was it like? Give us some of the, take us back in time. Well, this was, yeah, 12 years ago, 12 to 13 years ago. And so this was a full week of training. Ooh. We had two trainers, Jacob and Richard, I believe. Ooh. And it was a week long. But the training each day was pretty compact. It was usually from, I believe, about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, usually till about... 2 to 30 in the afternoon and then we would have the rest of the day off and you know we were coming from basically the countryside and so being able to spend five days in the big city was it was quite nice to be honest i mean not just because the training was quite good but also you know got to, was able to do some sightseeing uh after training and so on and so forth so that, that was quite great as well it was held in Osaka at the time. And at the end of training, I remember we everyone had to do a presentation of uh, one component from Unit 1. I drew uh, the red big book. And I remember uh, we all had to draw numbers to see who would go first. And my coworker at the time, one of my coworkers at the time, she drew number one and she was so nervous about being the first to present her, her uh, component. I felt bad for her. So I said, here, I'll, I'll take your spot. I'll go number one. So we traded numbers and I ended up being the first person to present in that seminar. And it was fine. It was red. I was slightly nervous myself. But now, I mean, I've probably done that story Ooh, hundreds of times at this point. <laughs> at so, least, at least hundreds. <laughs> hundreds of times. So, I mean, to be honest, Adam, I've always wanted you to do a podcast where you do like your grapeseed game show, where you do like, it's like a trivia game show where you ask like teachers like these questions about certain components from certain levels. Like, for example, what is Johnny Bear's father's name? You know, and that's a hard one. Um, if you're watching you, your REP, yeah. If you're watching your REP, though, in Unit Six, it was Unit Six yeah. where he helped uh, his father at the at the far at the market. Yeah, you six. see his name flash by. 
And so I always thought that'd be interesting. So take that idea to the bank, Adam. I'm telling you, it's a good one. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, and it, it was it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of different people, and and that was a long time ago. And since then, we've done a few like seminars along the way. We've had to go up to Tokyo or Osaka to few a few times to do some seminars, Fukuoka as well. I've had a variety of trainers, coaches throughout the years, and that's also been quite the experience. And a lot of them I still stay in contact with. So yeah, it's been it's been quite the ride. So with all those years, Graveseed has evolved quite a bit. What mm-hmm. have been some of the major improvements to the program you have seen through your time teaching? Oh, yeah, that's that's a great question. Uh, number one, I would say from unit 21 to 30, the original format of unit 21 to 30, there is a whole like a reader and B reader. And so like the A reader was the story and then the B reader each chapter was like, uh, it was about like a different person in history. And I'll be honest, I can't recall some of these people. I believe there's, I remember one, it was because it was Ben Carson. He's a famous, he ran for president in the United States. He was also a famous neurosurgeon. And it was a, it was a story about his upbringing and how he was poor and then how he studied hard and became a neurosurgeon. And it was, it was a great story. But that changed, but it was quite difficult for the kids, especially when you're moving from 20 to 21 and the jump to it was quite, quite noticeable. And so then only maybe a couple of years later, not even that many, they changed it to the current format where they have just the reading book with a chapter and in each lesson you spend two, sorry, you spend two lessons per chapter on doing yeah, doing that chapter and you have a supporting writer with it. And at that time, there was also a writer that went along with the reader. And it was, I get it. It was the beginning and of them trying to put things together. But the improvements that have been made are for the better. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I'm sad. was a good day but now i will say goodbye my friends goodbye goodbye everyone